Hi guys, in uh, this video I'm going to show you guys what uh, you're going to use to make a robot. Um, starting up with the LEGO NXT. This is your main brick, a brand new robot. Uh, it's got three motor outputs, uh, including encoder inputs on it. It's got four sensor inputs on the bottom, uh, probably not too applicable for this subject. Uh, and the main input at the top is USB. It also can communicate with the computer through Bluetooth, although uh, it's a little bit advanced for this class. So, uh, simple activation, turn it on with the big red button, it'll beep at you. Um, following that, you can go through the screen, I'm not sure if you can see it, you can go through this uh, screen, there's files, the settings, you can turn sounds off stuff like that and to turn it off down turn off on the screen follow the prompts simple to use great little bit uh, fun to use uh, secondly motors these are the motors that you guys will be using in the prac uh, they are have built-in encoders uh, 360 degrees so they've got 360 count per revolution uh, one thing to note with these motors is that there is a bit of slop in the motor uh, when it's stationary, so when your robot moves, it could end up, you know, two or three degrees out um, due to that slop. Uh, secondly, so the motors are great. Uh, they're very well gear reducted, so you can drive off them one to one, uh, or you can put more gear reduction into them. Uh, following that, got some simple sensors. You may want to use a touch sensor in the building of your robot. Just touch it, you might be able to zero your position with the touch sensor. Uh, it's something extra to do. Uh, following that, got a light sensor, guy like that, won't be using them, handy to know what they are. And you got a ultrasonic sensor, again, won't be using them. Great fun uh, to use when you play with Lego. Uh, and finally, USB cable, uh, connected type B, I believe. Goes straight into the computer, everything works for you. The NXTs uh, have a display on them that you can use. Uh, very handy for debugging. Uh, it's part, it'll be in the code coding section of the videos. We'll show you how to do this. Uh, just to show you what it is, uh, the display. You can write whatever you want to the display, your angles, your whatever math you're doing on the thing. Uh, great way to know what's going on inside your robot. Uh, second to that is the sound. Uh, the sound is great. Uh, if you have a sequence of things, just get it to do a short little beep every time it achieves a goal or runs through a, uh, a loop or something like that. Uh, it's a good way to visually, uh, uh, audibly hear what your robot's doing because most of the time it does stuff quicker than it can display on the screen. So just keep them in mind when you're using the NXT. Uh, it's a great little feature that uh, it provides. Alrighty. Uh, secondly, I'd like to show you just a simple method of connecting it up. Um, You've got three cables that come with uh, kits, a really long one, this guy, um, really short guy, and a medium size. Uh, these cables can only go in one way. Uh, you could mistake them with a phone line, but they're not. They're a little bit different, the clip's offset. Um, it's very simple, only goes in one way. Click it in the bottom, actually, I'm plugging in a motor, so, uh, in there, and then uh, in the top, like that, boom, simple. Um, now you're ready to work, so that's as simple as it is to connect motors. The same goes for the sensors. Uh, just try to remember when you're building a robot that you will uh, probably encounter tangling of these wires, so try and keep them as short as possible unless you have to wrap them. If they are being tangled, then a longer one might be better. But remember, they will hinder your robot if they do get tangled, so try and design it around that. The, the kits that we'll be using... Uh, this is the, the top layer of the kit, uh, full of all your useful parts, uh, small parts, pins, beams, gears, uh, connectors, wheels, um, everything that you really need uh, to build this robot that you guys are going to build. The rest of the kit, down here, you can see um, usual stuff, not much down there, just cables, motors, uh, stuff like that. That's what your kit should look like. 